So after getting my first job, I actually realized that I have enough money. So I had to actually find ways that I can save this money. I didn't know anything about investing. So I had to do some research on some ways to actually get my money to work for me or to have this money in the future, right? And that's when I came across investing. But there were a lot of things they were mentioning about investing. So I just focused on watching videos of people who are also in tech to know how they spend their money. So that's how I was actually able to narrow everything down. So now I'm usually investing in stocks. So I invest in the stock market and then I also invest in property, but mostly I invest most of my money in the stock market. So now that I knew about investing, I had to find ways on how to actually invest. So a friend of mine already knew about these things of investing. So he told me about an app called Easy Quitties. So that's what I usually use to invest, right? So like I said, I usually invest in the stock market instead of just investing in property because on easy equity like they make it really hard to actually invest in property because you can't get your money instantly for example if you invest in the same property or three properties and you make a certain amount of money like some profit you can't just sell those shares immediately or instantly and get your money back right so they have to go through an auction like there's a whole process that can take a month or months to actually get your money back so that's why i'm not throwing as much money in property on easy equities i usually invest more in the stock market because when you invest in the stock market on easy equities like you can sell your shares at any time when your money is growing right so that's why i usually spend more money on the stock market so at the start i didn't know how this easy equities thing works my friend tried to explain it to me but it didn't really make sense so i had to do my own research to see how it works and everything so i invested as little as possible so at the start i invested as little as 100 rand to invest in multiple companies right then from there i was able to see like how this money grows and actually try to do some research in the companies that i've actually invested in to see how like the company's doing to make sure that i know everything about the company so i know same things because you can know everything but i know same things that are going on in the company to make sure that you can sell your shares when something bad happens in that company but like i said i was just starting out so i invested little amounts to make sure that i don't lose my money so that's how i started out so i'm just going to share the screenshots of how i'm doing at the moment like how my shares are doing and the profits and the losses and everything so the first company that i invested in is called aspen so i invested 430 rand so i made 3 rand and 64 cents at the moment because it grew about 0.84 percent or 0.85 percent rather so that's how much i actually gained then the next company that i invested in is bitvest so i invested 205 rand and i gained 22 rand then that's basically 10.74 percent growth the next company that i invested in is called capitech so i invested 50 rand and i lost 6 rand 71 cents so that's basically a 13.42 percent loss so yeah i made a loss there then the next company that i invested in is called core shares i invested 50 rand and i lost 4 rand 64 cents so that's basically a 9.28 percent loss so that's a loss again the next company that i invested in is called cap agri i don't know if that's how they pronounce it but yeah it's in agriculture so i invested 100 rand and i made 1 rand 0.33 cents so that's basically a 1.33 percent gain so that's a gain so i made a profit there then another company that i invested in is called life group i think that's in health i invested 100 rand and i made 0 0.93 cents so that's basically a 0.93 percent gain right so i made a profit of 0.93 cents right then the next company that i invested in is called multi choice so i invested 50 rand then i lost 4 rand 99 cents so that's basically a 9.98 percent loss so i made a loss there then the next company i invested in is called nespas so it's a tech company so i invested 387.97 cents then i gained 11 rand 67 cents so that's basically a growth of 3.01 percent so i made a profit there then the next company that i invested in is called all mutual so i invested 100 rand so i made a gain or profit of 3 rand 01 cents 
so that's basically a 3.01 percent growth so i made a profit another company that I invested in is called satrix i invested 20 rand so i lost 1 rand 0.74 cents so that's basically a loss of 8.7 percent right so the last company that i invested in which is the company that i invested most of my money in is called signia so it's an index fund for the s p 500 there are just a lot of companies which are 500 so they're just going to take the money that i'm investing and they're going to distribute it to all these companies it's a good investment because not all the companies are going to fall so if another company doesn't do well another company will do well and you will lose all your money so yeah i invested 1900 and i made a loss of 17 rand by 99 cents so that's basically a 0.95 percent loss so although right now it's going down i know that in the future it's going to go up and i think maybe in the future that's when i'll actually pull out or take my money but right now i'm just going to hold until about five years on the line then that's when i'll actually pull out if i need to use that money for something right like i said i also invested in property but i'm not going to show that because i've not invested a lot of money i think right now is about maybe 120 rand and it's growing about six percent but right now i'm just going to focus on investing in the stock market so yeah that's all my results so i encourage you guys to actually invest as well don't just save your money because when your money sits in a savings account inflation happens make sure that you have investment in place to make sure that you fight inflation so yeah that's gonna do it guys if you haven't subscribed yet subscribe to my youtube channel so that my content gets directly to you and hit that bell icon so you get notified whenever releasing content and lastly like this video guys thank you guys so much for watching have an awesome day bye